Debbie from Lime Doodle Design and today for my Doodling with Debbie feature for Samsa Stamp and watercolour and die cuts to create a soft and elegant card. I'm going to be using the classic bicycle die from Samsa Stamp which comes as three parts, a frame, a wheel and a sweet basket which can be positioned either on the front or the back of the bike. I've seen some gorgeous examples of this die cut with coloured card but I do love the extra interest that watercolouring adds with its natural changes in tone and transparency. I'm starting out with a few pieces of Archer's cold press watercolour card and very roughly applying colour in areas large enough to die cut the various elements of the bicycle die from. I'm using Daniel Smith watercolours squeezed from their tubes into an inexpensive plastic travel palette. I wanted a rich yellow for the bicycle and used quinacridone gold with a little quinacridone coral for depth. For the bicycle tyres I use Luna Black. For the basket, Hematite Burnt Scarlet Genuine. For the flowers, Rose of Ultramarine, and for the leaves, Sap Green. I roughly watercolour the areas for the different die cuts, then dry the panel before adding another layer. I repeated the process of drying the panel and adding more colour until I had the colour variation I was aiming for. I then used some of the leftover paint to add darker splatter, and then for highlights of splatter I used Windsor and Newton White Gouache, and for some sparkle I used my favourite Perfect Pearl solution. I dried the panel once more and then ran the classic bicycle dies through the various areas of colour and I added a metal shim on my die cutting sandwich to get a really clean cut through the thick watercolour card. For the floral elements I used the mini flowers and leaves dies from Sansa Stamp. I knew I wanted a number of these die cut so I left the dies attached to each other and ran them through twice for the purple flowers and twice for the green leaves to ensure I had sufficient die cuts for the cascading basket of blooms I had planned. With all the die cuts now prepared, I needed a background to set them upon. I taped another piece of Archer's watercolour card to a board, while I added a loose airy background of colour to go behind the bicycle scene. I started with a wash of water over the whole panel, and then dropped in light areas of colour. I used the bicycle die as a guide as to where to add the various paint, so there was the impression of a blue sky blending into a pinky purple behind the flower basket. I added a splatter of perfect pearl solution, and then left the background to dry while I used Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to attach the bicycle tyres to the frame. I made sure to add the tyres so the shading I'd created with the watercolour was in the same place on both tyres. I then die cut the background panel with a wonky rectangle die. I planned on having the back wheel of the bicycle overhanging the edge of the background, and so I chose the middle size die of the three in this set, which will allow for a wider border when placed on an A2 card, giving space for the die to overhang the watercolour panel while still being on the front of the card and as such not requiring a larger envelope. I added the bicycle and basket with small pieces of foam adhesive and then started arranging the leaves and flowers to cascade out of the basket. This card was inspired by one I made previously using the beautiful ride stamp set from Sansa Stamp. On that card I stamped the bicycle and no line watercolour the scene with purple flowers cascading from the basket and I wanted to recreate that scene today using watercolour die cuts instead. I added a background layer of leaves and flowers using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to keep them in place and I used a few of the centres of the flowers as dots around the arrangement to give the impression of smaller flowers. Once the base layer is down I added a few leaves and flowers with firm adhesive to give dimension and dimension for me is one of the key advantages of using die cuts. With the basket of flowers complete for now I moved on to the sentiment and I thought the phrase you've been working hard, time for a break from the vacation time set went well. I placed a piece of slate card in the mini misty and aligned the stamp on top, closed the door of the misty to pick up the stamp and then treated the card with a powder bag before stamping with clear embossing ink. I then sprinkled with white embossing powder, tapped off any excess and heat set before trimming to a skinny banner. I added the banner with foam adhesive to the top right, letting the banner overhang the edge to balance with the bike tyre overhanging on the lower left. I added some groovy confetti sequins to some of the flower centres and also dotted around the arrangement. And then I added lots of dots of ivory seashell and pale periwinkle Nouveau droplets. I think all these little extras help to fill out the cascade of flowers while giving extra texture and dimension too. And that completes my card using watercolour die cuts to create a bicycle scene. On the Samsung Stamp blog you'll find a coordinating blog post as well as details of the supplies I've used today. If you want to find me, I blog over at lime I want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.